free and equal elections presents United We Stand Festival. The two party system has been intentionally dividing us for over a century, but when we unite as a bigger movement outside of the party system and take our government back, our government will shift back to the origins of the Constitution. Revolutionary musical performances by Public Enemy. Founders of Wu Tang Clan. Cash proves everything around me. Queen get the money. Dollar dollar bill, yo. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Immortal technique. National security is a cold word for cover up. Hold that down. I look at character. Never let the color get to you. I got white revolution. Now these like Muslims in Chechnya. The siren. Like. Hey yo, I can swear. Uh -huh. Think I'm paranoid? Check uh -huh. the back of your dollar bill, the pyramid. Right. With yeah. the eye on top of it, they watch us. Helicopters fly over the metropolis. Vans in front of my spot and pilots. Uh -huh. Kelly Mays. Some are concerned about the fall. Some are convinced there was a wall that we all gonna crawl. That we can't overcome the game. We're all one. Have you heard about the propaganda? Manipulating shape your brand up. That little voice inside you understand. Truth talk revolutionaries. Cynic. Blue men areas. The oil's running dry, our money's burning out. Solar panels on the roof of the White House. Hey, we bringing on some real change. Water catchment system, we collect the rain. Playing for change. Lily Hayden. Also confirmed, Dartiana Morrow's Sounds of Solidarity, John Goodhue, Krista Richards, and more. There's no difference between the two parties. They, uh, they're bought and sold. They, they've created a system that's based completely upon bribery. You're wasting your vote if you vote for a Democrat or Republican because you're gonna get the same government. It does not matter which one that you elect. They are all in cahoots together to maintain their power and their control of the two party, you know, what they have, the two party monopoly. Or, or dictatorship. I'm a great believer in the fabric of this country and the fabric of it is the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And we need to force our elected officials and government to stand by those rules because a government that doesn't have a Constitution or Bill of Rights is meaningless. On his media journalists like Abby Martin. We should vote for someone who we truly believe will move this country forward to where we need it to go. What it all comes down to is the illusion of choice between a Republican or Democratic brand. If we continue to marginalize alternatives to the two-party system, then there will never be a chance at an alternative. To resist the status quo means leaving open the possibility of actual change. And if we don't resist, if we submit, then that hope remains at a distance, or worse, it dies. Amber Lyon. I, I see that a lot of Americans are being taken advantage of and, and the truth isn't getting to them and that's what bothers me the most. And when the American public isn't informed and when they don't have that truth because they're not getting it from the mainstream media and from journalists, journalists aren't fighting for it like they used to, then that, that's dangerous. Ben Swamp. The creation of Al-Qaeda wasn't Islamic fundamentalism, it was the CIA. The Mujahideen was created by the CIA to cause problems for the Soviets. This is not propaganda. Rather, it is the question that every American should be demanding answers on from Congress and from this president. Why are we giving Al-Qaeda fighters money and weapons to overthrow yet another government in the Middle East? Today, our government claims they're freeing the people of Syria. Tomorrow, 
If history tells us anything, we will be killing and wounding civilians in airstrikes and then referring to them as collateral damage in a war with an enemy who we brought to power. Send Kaga. Truth, <laughs> and actually serving the audience rather than sponsors, corporate parents, or the government. And the reason that we now are, you know, over a billion and a half views is because people go, whoa, look at that. They're doing it with a prompter, they're unscripted, they're real, they're not fake robots on TV, and, and most importantly, they're not just telling us what the government wants us to hear, they're telling us the actual news. Larry King. Yeah, what we have now in, in American politics is, uh, it's kind of sad. It's uh, very vituperative, there's very little congeniality, but these people are so rigid on both sides now, it's very hard to come together when you have a house with a majority in one way and a Senate majority the other way, and a president trying to deal with both, makes it very, very difficult to get things done. Also confirmed. Josh Tully, Luka Rutkowski, Maitre Hassan, Nalan Mish, Sean Stone, and more. Socially conscious speakers like Marian Williamson. The chokehold that the two major political parties have on our political system right now is in fact sucking all the oxygen out of our public discourse. David Browner. Uh, Americans now have the right to know if the food has been genetically engineered or not. Uh, genetic engineering of, of crops is generally done um, by chemical companies who have bought the seed industry in this country to uh, engineer resistance to their weed killers. We do not have the right to opt out based on this experiment on the, on the American public. Gary Johnson. I would end the Federal Reserve if given the chance, but that's Congress giving me the chance to end the Federal Reserve. Stop printing money. What we need to do is bring about full transparency to the Federal Reserve, which ending the Federal Reserve brings about. Jill Stein. Nearly one third of Americans are now living in or near the poverty level. That so many are in poverty while the wealthy few are richer than ever makes it clearer than ever that it's time for real change. Kimberly and Foster Gamble. Stop the practices which are destroying the whole thing. And if you look not only at, at our food system and our energy system, but you look at health care, you look at education, you look at media, it's the same thing always. The, the wholeness, the integrity, the honesty, the transparency and so forth has been systematically destroyed. Ben and Jerry. The rich and the corporations are controlling our elections and our politicians because they own them because they buy them. And I do foresee a huge movement of independence rising and taking back our government. And again, you know, the people in office, whether it's uh, discussing term limits, they should be talking about the NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, the Patriot Act, the NSA, what Snowden and Assange and amazing individuals like that are doing to rise and bring the truth out. These are way bigger issues that members of Congress should be speaking about. People are ready for a huge change. There's a shift in, in America in awareness, and it's time, you know, to replace every member of Congress. And John, uh, John F. Kennedy once said, you know, let's not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Lee Camp. We're witnessing the liquidation of everything we've built over 200 years. These are important times. This is dark versus light, evil versus good. Also confirmed, Amelia Robinson, Andrew Spencer, Brad Friedman, Dan Johnson, David Swanson, Diane Goldstein, Ellen Brown, Jeff Berwick, Justin Jeff, Camilla Moore, Kevin Moore, Luis Rodriguez, Matt Hagelton, Michael Levitin, Michael Tamwood, Nick Bernard, Pamela Donnelly, Richard Gage, Rosa Clemente, Rosa Coyle, Sabrina Fendrick, Sheriff Richard Mack, Stephen Downing, Tommy Canal, and more. Here's the thing that it shouldn't do, shouldn't destroy the planet, shouldn't create massive economic disparity, shouldn't ignore the needs of the people. The burden of proof is on the people with the power. Now, we can no longer have erroneous, duplicitous systems held in place unless it's for the serve, only systems that serve the planet and serve the population of the planet can be allowed to survive. Not ones that serve elites, be they a political or corporate elites. And this is what's current. Within the existing paradigm, the change is not dramatic enough, not radical enough, so you can well understand it public disturbances and public dissatisfaction when there are not genuine changes and genuine alternatives being offered. I say when there is a genuine alternative, a genuine option, then vote for that. 
Why pretend? Why be complicit in this ridiculous illusion? United We Stand May 10th UCLA Pauli Pavilion Freeandacrow.org UnitedWeStandSets.com